You may have been watching The Speakmans, their new television series on ITV. is on 2pm weekdays. Uh, 20 episodes already they've dealt with um, social anxiety, arachnophobia, fear of spiders, dental phobia, agoraphobia, OCD and eating disorders. So they're dealing with lots of different issues. But is it representative of the kind of help you can get? And is it a good thing or a bad thing that it's on television? Lots of questions have been asked, a lot of them via social media. I've had inquiries and I know the Speakmans and other therapists have as well about some of their methods and they're not able to answer all of those uh, or perhaps they've chosen not to. So here are some of the answers to some of those questions. One important thing to say is that it is a television show. So an absolute positive is that it's making people aware of the fact that you can get help. You don't need to live with any fear or any phobia. We're only born with two fears and phobias, loud noises and a fear of falling. So everything else is just something that we've learned. And if you've learned it, you can unlearn it. I deal more with stress and anxiety as a clinical hypnotherapist than anything else. And it's something that you can learn to let go of and you can learn to be more relaxed. So that's great. Because it's a television show, it does adhere to a format. Uh, that format seems to be very regulated and it doesn't change. Which means that every single episode we see whoever has the problem with their family. So with a mother, a father, a husband, children, and they all get together and they all have family therapy. And lots of people have contacted me and said, well, I'm on my own. What do I do? Or my family don't want to get involved or won't help or don't know how to help. I can assure you that as a therapist and talking to all the other therapists that I've spoken to about this, just to check it wasn't me, 99% of what I do is not with a family or a couple. Uh, that's only when they ask to do it that way. Most people, you don't need to have family therapy in order to overcome a fear or a phobia. But because it's a television show, it works much, much better that way. If you're on your own, you shouldn't be disheartened. I see every other person on their own. It's absolutely fine. It is a television show, so it adheres to that format. You don't need to get a family to write you a letter. That's what the Speakmans do every single episode. And as a therapist, it's interesting that they do adhere to this formula because I don't know what I'm going to do with a client until they arrive because I don't know what the problem is. But in some ways, this program is set up in a slightly different way. And sadly, I'm aware that those certain people weren't picked because they didn't have a family. And that does seem a little bit unfair. So what do we see? Because we always see the same things. We see the family talking. Uh, it might make you think that that's all they do. And then they take a little bit of time and they have a chat. And generally after the chat, everything's fine. Well, we're not seeing everything that the Speakmans do. I'm a clinical hypnotherapist and I'm trained in lots of different things. There's no, it's not just sitting back and closing your eyes. That is a part of what I do. None of that's taking control of your mind. It's just learning to relax. But I also use lots of other things. Um, NLP techniques, neuro-linguistic programming, is something the Speakmans use a lot, but it doesn't kind of get mentioned. EFT, you might have heard of, it's called tapping. It's amazing for dealing with phobias and fears. Again, I'm aware that the Speakmans use a lot of these techniques, but they're not shown on television. They do also use hypnotherapy. They, in fact, own um, a DeLorean. They say it's the DeLorean from the Back to the Future films. It's not the DeLorean from the Back to the Future films. It's a DeLorean that they've had uh, made up with their phone number and things on the side. <laughs> and, and they use this to do something called timeline therapy. It's a hypnotherapy technique. But we don't see any of this on television. I'm not sure why we don't see it on television. Um, I'm a little bit confused as to why they don't want to show us that. Perhaps it's just a kind of keep that mystique. Time scale as well. Lots of people saying, well, how do they do this in an hour? They don't. They don't do it in an hour. Uh, I know for a fact that at least one of the participants in the programme had uh, at minimum four days of working with them, four different sessions that were filmed. Um, we didn't see all of that and we weren't told that. It's not easy to get rid of something straight away. You can make someone feel better in an hour, but that's not important. What's important is to make sure that they feel better 10 hours, 20 hours, two days, a week, a month, a year better. And that does take time. With help, with time and with effort, you can overcome any of your problems, any of your fears, phobias. You can overcome social anxiety, but it's not realistic to assume that you can do it in an hour. Taking that first step is the most important and the most difficult thing. If you're looking for help, if you're looking for advice, my advice is to make sure that you speak to two or three different people. As a hypnotherapist, when people come to me, I always say, have you spoken to anybody else? And I might even suggest 
people that they speak to. And the reason for that is because I want you to be with the best person for you. You have to trust that somebody can help you. You have to trust that it'll be the best person to take you forward. You have to have confidence in them in the way that they have confidence too. Sometimes you might meet somebody that you don't feel confident about. Other times you will. So ask around. Make sure that you pick the right person for you. Be aware that it might take you longer than an hour, and it will. I, on average, see clients for between three and four sessions. Each session lasts 50 minutes to an hour. That's on an average. So sometimes things could happen quicker. With things like insomnia, often it happens a lot quicker than that. Same with phobias, really. But other times it might take you a little bit longer. But you can overcome any of your problems. Asking for help is always the hardest part. Don't be afraid to ask for help. If you'd like to ask me any help or advice, I'm always happy and I offer free consultations anyway. So if I'm offering free consultations, if you want to send me an email, all of my website details are here on the screen, then all you need to do, drop me a line and I'm happy to help as much as I can. I even have on my website, there's a free MP3 download on how to stop a panic attack. I work with people who have anxiety and stress a lot and panic attacks and I specialise in helping people to end those panic attacks forever. And there's a free download then, a free MP3, how to stop a panic attack on my website. Lots of other help and advice for all the other things that people think we do well, losing weight, uh, stopping smoking, as well as fears and phobias and anxiety, even learning to turn down pain. Lots of free help and advice on my website and ask around. I work on Skype so I can work with anyone anywhere in the world and I work worldwide. But you might want somebody local. Pick the right person for you and everything can be fine.